The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is one of the most known in the world. It's even become a major topic of interest in the international media, international bodies like the EU and UN, all of social media, and even on college campuses in the West. And by topic of interest, what we really mean is literally obsession. The data speaks for itself. 101 million results when you search for news on Israel on Google, yet only 35 million on Syria and 75 million on Iran. So is Israel twice as important? Well, Emily, as an example, an article covering human rights in The New Yorker mentioned ISIS in four sentences, Ukraine, one, but Israel and Gaza, 30 sentences. That seems excessive. Yep, but that's not all. A former AP correspondent said that AP had over 40 staffers covering Israel and the Palestinian territories. But that's more staffers than they had in China, Russia, India, and in 50 sub-Saharan African countries combined. That's right. And that's not the exception for the international press. It's the rule. In the UN, Israel's condemned more than any other country in the world combined. Yes, more than Syria, Russia, North Korea, China. It is also the only country with a permanent agenda item at the UN. In the world of human rights NGOs, Israel is harshly criticized with well-funded reports well, actual human rights violators like China, Russia, Iran, and Syria are often ignored. Check this out. Amnesty International has 256 reports about Israel, but 154 about Syria and 158 about Iran. So is Israel really that much more newsworthy and deserving of condemnation than everything else going on in the world? Let's put it in context. Israel is a country of 9 million with territory roughly the size of New Jersey that's 11 times smaller than the UK and 437 times smaller than China. Yet it receives way more attention globally. Since the start of the Arab-Israeli conflict dating back to 1920, approximately 116,000 people have died, combined, from both sides. Now obviously this is terrible, but how does it compare to other modern conflicts? Let's see. Darfur, 300,000 casualties. Mexican drug war, 150 to 250,000 casualties. Syrian civil war, over half a million. Yemen civil war, 377,000. Somali civil war, 300 to 500,000. Afghanistan, 1.4 to 2 million and counting. And these are only ongoing conflicts. In the Gaza 2021 war, 313 Palestinians were killed. In Syria, over 4,000 Palestinians were killed by Syria in the last eight years. That's more casualties than the last three Israel-Gaza wars combined, spanning over 10 years. Now, when it comes to refugees, 30 million Syrians have become refugees. 11 million Ukrainians have become refugees. And both are managed by the UN High Commissioner for refugees. Palestinians were 750,000 refugees, most of whom were instructed to leave by Arab leaders in 1948. Today, they're the only group to get their own refugee agency, UNRWA, which has its own definition of refugee to inflate the numbers to 5.8 million refugees. That number comes from the descendants of the original 750,000, even if they have a foreign citizenship. You'd never think that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is actually less violent than most global conflicts occurring today based on social media and media. Every life matters, but this proportionate focus on Israel isn't improving lives here. And it's coming at a cost to all other conflicts in the world, which deserve attention too. Yalla, next time you hear about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, make sure to remember to put the conflict in context.